Why damn, is it time already? Is that a... It is a brand new episode of Bird Calling. I'm Misty Dawn, bird calling extraordinaire and wife of famous wolverine hunter, Behemoth Johnson, and the finale is here and our final two contestants have called their way to the top, not scared to unleash their vocal talents upon their opponents. Before we unveil the, our, the, our bird, the bird our challengers must call to, let's meet our legendary callers. Hey, how you doing? I'm Tony Cardoni, famous cannoli baker and soon to be champion of bird calling. I can't put my son through college on cannoli baking alone, so the wife made me brush off my bird calling skills I got through my years as a mafia construction. Wow, that's a wonderful motivation, Tony. Did we know this before? No, we didn't know. Well, anyways, our next contestant. Like, hi, I'm Molly Davis. Like, uh, ever since I was a baby, I either had a wine glass in one hand or my pet parrot, Jessica. When Jessica was brutally murdered by old age, I vowed to bring her back, though any means possible. I left behind my dear children, Cody and Parker, and my dear husband, Rich. And like signs on the kitchen wall saying, it's one o'clock somewhere, I will bring Jessica back, no matter the cost. There you have it folks, Tony Cordone and Molly Davis. Now for the big reveal, our bird for the finale for bird calling is the female cardinal. We'll be right back after this short break to see Tony Cordone attempt to communicate with this week's bird. And we're back just in time to see Tony Cordone do one last bird call. Tony, how are you feeling? I feel like I need to win this so my wife will get off my back about putting my son through college. It's community school, not Princeton. Laura, look, here she is now calling for the fourth time in two minutes. I'm in the middle of something. I don't uh, all right, Tony, uh, I'm going to have to ask you to put your phone away. I fear that you might scare the birdies off. All right, honey, I gotta go. I love you. No, I'm not just saying that. I love you. No, I love cannolis more. <laughs> no, I love cannolis more. Sorry. Okay. Tony, the bird is getting a little anxious. All righty, sorry. <clears throat> Let's do this. My heavens, Tony, that was unbelievable. I've never heard such instinctual and primal calls. Let's see what Molly has to say about uh, that lovely singing. Molly, honey, it's time to put down the phone and, you know, get to going. I was playing putt-putt with my son Parker. Sorry, not sorry. Uh, I thought the calls were a little dry, not enough moisture in the back of the throat. And uh, to be honest, Tony, you disgust me. Then we're some spotting words, girl. We're gonna have to take another quick break, but when we come back, your very own Molly Davis. We're back again to see Molly Davis do her final call on the show. Molly, how are you feeling right now? Well, I could go for some wine and a uh, Nicholas Sparks book, but other than that, I'm ready to call and bring Jessica back from like the bird afterlife. And I don't believe in heaven, but I totally believe we live again. Jessica was my former friend when I was a roadrunner in Arizona. Very interesting. I, uh, I for one believe in Jesus Christ, so I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. Uh, I like disagree with your agreeing. Well, Molly, I'm just trying to be nice. Well, Misty, I... Well, Misty, it's not time to be nice. It's time to win. I'm not your opponent, but all right, let's get, let's get to it. <laughs> Molly Davis, 
That was most beautiful, dazzling, exquisite form I have ever witnessed with my own two peepers. Let's check in on Tony and see how he's doing. Too pure. A princess. <laughs> Even Tony knows. Tony, can we get you out here? It's time for the bird to choose. We have our two contestants, Tony Cordone and Molly Davis. Who will the bird choose as the winner? <whistles> Seems like the bird has her answer. And the bird has spoken. Your winner is... Molly Davis! Molly! As if it wasn't obvious enough after that performance. Tony, any words for our audience? I don't know what that means, but then again, I don't know French. So Molly, our champion, what words do you have after winning? Well, Misty, this is just the beginning of the gauntlet I must go through to like get Jessica back. Uh, yeah. Okay, what's next for you on your path to bringing Jessica back to the real world? Well, I have to climb to the top of the Kachukamanga. Bless you. In the Himalayas, it's the third tallest peak. And like, uh, I have to call to the lost souls and like hope Jessica hears my cries. Oh, I'm sure she will, Molly. That's all the time this, uh, that's all for this season of bird calling. Make sure you stay afterwards uh, though, as we'll be teasing some of the birds for next season. I'm Misty Dawn and this is Bird Calling.